Hello and good day to Madam Nisa. My name is Tommy Lee and I will be representing my group from 2BEC S1 K2 Group 5 to present our mini project proposal, which is Digital Combination Lock. So here's the agenda. First, the introduction and our team members. Next, the circuit and its function. And last, the key components. So this project is designed with multi-SIM using Logic Gates IC. The circuit of the digital combination lock is implemented based on various electronic components that include 7486IC, which is the exclusive OR gate, 7402IC, which is the NOR gate, two different LED, which is a red LED to indicate wrong code and a green LED to indicate the correct code. And there is also a push button to function as the enter trigger. So this is our team. Iro Shazli as the team leader. Omar Adil Hakim will be doing the circuit design. And me, Tommy Lee, with the project planning. And Hanif Jamaluddin with researching on the projects and materials. Next, here is the circuit and its function. First of all, the concept. In our project, there will be two switch assemblies being used. One switch serves to hold the correct code for unlocking the code. Another switch functions as a data entry point for user trying to open the lock. And to use exclusive OR gates as bit comparators and using NOR gates as control inverters. This is our circuit. So, first of all, user will input their key at the first switch assembly. Second, the key code will be pre-entered at the data entry point. And next, if the user input wrong key, the red LED will light up and shows it is the wrong code entered. Next, if the input is correctly entered, the green LED will light up. So in order for both LEDs to light up or each of it, after the user tries to input the key, they will have to push the button, which is normally open, Okay, to complete the circuit in order for the LED to light up, either the wrong LED or the correct LED. Next, here's a brief explanation on the key components used in our project. First, IC7486, which is the exclusive OR gate. So containing four independent gates, each of which performs the logic exclusive OR function. And this IC produces a low output, which is zero, only if its inputs are same. And it will function as key code, where the user need to input the same with key to get the low output, which is zero. The second logic gate here is the NOR gate, which is IC7402. It contains four independent gates of each, which performs the logic NOR function. So it will produce a high output, which is one, only if all its inputs are low. And if user input all key with the correct key, which all low, zero, the IC will produce high, one, and this will light up the green LED. And next, we use 1N914 diode. So this diode is a small signal diode, and it handles low voltage and low current. It can be switched at high speeds. So current will always enter through anode and exits through cathode. So basically, this diode is also a switching diode. Next, I will show our simulation. In our multi-SIM, this is our digital combination lock. So right now, I will run the simulation. So right now, for example, we have pre-entered one zero zero one at the data entry point. So when the user try to enter, for example, zero zero one one as the key code, 
So, in order for them to know whether it's correct or wrong, they will have to press the push button. So, as you can see, the red LED lights up, which shows it is the wrong code. And if the user enters 1, 0, 0, 1, so right now, the user press enter, here the green LED will light up. So it shows that the code is correct and the lock will be unlocked. So right now, at the data entry point, we can actually set it randomly or a predefined code in order to have a different output. So right now, let me set 0, 0, 1, 1 at the data entry point, which is the predefined code that we must let the user user key in in order for them to try to unlock the lock. So we continue using the same code by the user. 1001 when the user try to press enter, it shows that the code is wrong and the lock will not unlock. So when the user enters 0011 and press enter, right now the green LED will light up. So which means the lock will be unlocked. And with that, I end the simulation. Thank you, madam.